No! Yeah, that's my number one dish of the year. Oh, wow. Welcome back. For the last video of 2021, I thought me and Salma would do something a little different, and we put together our top five lists of the dishes that we've made this year. So we've put together our list and haven't shared them with each other, and I think there's going to be a few surprises in there. I'm curious what Salma's top five were. I know what my top five are. And yeah, let's, uh, let's start off and see where things landed. So we're going to alternate who goes first. I think I'll go first with my number five dish and then someone can go after that. Do you want to take a stab at guessing what my number five would be? Number five. Is it the cauliflower retainer? No, it's not. <laughs> my number five is the grilled whole boneless chickens. Um, yeah, the Dej Masahab. Oh, this dish is amazing. We've done it quite a lot of times since I figured out the exact recipe for it and I absolutely love it. Nothing better than some crispy chicken skin, some grilled chicken, a bunch of spices and other flavors. Oh, fantastic, really it's love so it. It's so good, it's really, really good. Yeah, absolutely. I can't wait until we have a garden and we can barbecue so that we can do these regularly because I absolutely adore them. My number five is actually quite a surprise to me because it's something that I normally would not enjoy. Do you mm. want to guess? Something you normally wouldn't enjoy. Probably something with tomatoes. No. <laughs> no, I mean, close, but no. So my number five is the sour cherry kebab. Oh yeah, that was good. That was so good. Usually yeah, yeah. I have something against um, having kofta at home. I don't know why. Um, probably you just don't like mincemeat. I don't like mincemeat, but this was such a pleasant surprise. I would gladly have that every week. Yeah, that, that, that cherry kebab was amazing. It's got that, that tang and brightness that you want and I think the cinnamon that was in it and other spices just gave it like a warm wintery flavor, which was really good. Almost made my list, almost. All right, cool. Your turn for number four. What's your number four? Well, actually, let me guess. Um, is it something wacky? Something I wouldn't expect? Yeah. Yeah? Maybe. Is going to be the fatta tats, lentil fatta. No, what is no. It? It's uh, the cauliflower with tahina. That, that dish was pleasantly surprising again. So most of my top five dishes are pleasantly, surprisingly good. <laughs> like I was not expecting them to be this good, but um, they turned out to be really good. We've had some really good comments come through about it. Like people say, oh yeah, my, my friends who never eat veggies loved it. Or my husband who's a really fussy eater ate it and stuff like that. So I yeah. mean, I mean, you're not a big fan of tahina I'm and not a big, not fan, big fan of, of cauliflower, yeah. but you loved it. Yeah, so yeah, it was really good. That so. tells you it's a very good dish. That's one you should definitely, definitely yeah. try. Um, my number four dish is Turkish chilbir. And that was one which did surprisingly well on the channel, but also, I mean, I can't blame it. It's, it's, it's such a delicious breakfast. Uh, you've got the yogurt sauce and the poached eggs. I, I flipping love poached eggs. And just that butter with the chili, oh, it's just perfect. I mean, you'd never think that yogurt goes with eggs, yeah. but it actually does. There's something about the creaminess of the egg yolk and the creaminess of the yogurt. It's like, hollandaise can sometimes be a bit too much because there's a lot of egg yolk, but with this, the creaminess of the yogurt kind of takes away from the richness of the yolk. Um, and, it's and the sharpness really of the garlic yeah. really cuts through the richness. It's so good. It's Absolutely. really good. Absolutely. Love it. My number three is one that you worked on a lot and one that we were surprised how well it came out. And I mean, I'm sure you can guess what this one is. I worked on a lot. Yes. Well, when I say you worked on a lot, I mean, you did a lot of thinking. Oh. I definitely know what it is. <laughs> is it Tamiya? Yes, it is. Okay. It's, it's our Egyptian for Yeah, uh, this was. I'm funny. surprised that made your top five. Oh yeah, of course, of course. It's one of those things you'd miss. Like I miss a lot about Egypt, um, and so it making number three is absolutely certain. It's funny because Sama was looking for how to do it, and she just came up with maybe I should do this thing and it worked perfectly first time. From the first time, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. That was what was really great about it. Um, but yeah, I'm so happy we figured that one out because that means we can eat perfect tamia all year round and yeah, love it. Um, okay, my number three is, uh, it's not tamia. It's not tamia. It's not tamia, but it's something I absolutely love. Is it spicy? It's not spicy. Is it's it? something um, I used to eat all the time. I ate it growing up as well. I have no clue. Fattat hummus. I absolutely love fattat hummus. Makes sense. 
Yeah. Like, I mean, I would, I would put that over, I, I would prefer that over eating plain hummus as a dip. Fettered hummus is just something else. It's, it's so nice and warming. All right, number two. I no think we might be sharing number two. Oh yeah? I think, I have a feeling, but. Hmm, let's see, number two. Is it tangy? Oh, very tangy. Iraqi dolma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, saying, we're both sharing number two, yeah. Iraqi dolma was, wow, that was a discovery this year, wasn't yeah. it? And it, was, and it was only at the start of the year. It was, it, uh, I think it was our first video yeah, last year. Yeah, it was like the uh, first, oh, sorry, first or year. second video yeah, this year. Yeah, yeah, And it is such a wonderful recipe. There is just so much flavour packed into the dolma. It's tangy, it's flavourful, it's meaty, it's absolutely delicious. It's I really so love good. it. It's really, really good. It's been a while since we made it though, and, and you've been, been craving, craving it. it yeah. I've been craving it. It's just so much work to justify for two people. Yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, I mean, we could just make less varieties and that would make it a bit easier. Um, but it is nice to have that variety of exactly. different things. Like the onions are the best thing in the pot because yep. they just go caramelized and they're all tangy. But yeah, they're the tangy other stuff and is just sweet. Really good. It's so good. But it's, yeah, the fun of it is to take one of everything. Yeah. And. What we might do this time is we might put some lamb chops in the bottom as well because then they get coated in all that sticky tangy sauce and they caramelize and you get these sticky lamb chops with the dolma. Oh, just amazing. All right, we've got to make that next week, okay? <laughs> okay. All right, cool. Uh, I'm going to guess your number one then. Uh, I have no idea what your number one is going to be. Really? Yeah. Number one this year. Number one this year? What could it have been? Oh, come on. That is like... The easiest thing. The chicken? The Farika chicken? No. No? Okay. I'm just trying to think. Oh, what could it be? Because <laughs> I know what my number one is and it's a bit obvious. I, I know what your number one is. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I definitely know what your number okay, one you is. Okay, you guess what my number one is then. It's Kapsa. No. What? No, my number one isn't the Kapsa. <laughs> is it the Matluba? No, it's the tahini with cauliflower, the cauliflower tahini. No! Yeah, that's my number one dish of the year. Oh, wow. That one absolutely took me by surprise by how good it is. Kapsa did not make your list. Well, Kapsa made my short list. <laughs> it, almost was at, it almost went on to it. But the thing is, when I was looking, uh, it might just be because it's been a while since we've made it, but the cauliflower tahini, it just, it has such a nice flavour. But yeah, that was my number one. Oh wow, I am surprised. I was confident it was going to be Kapsa. <laughs> yeah, see, I, I, I had Kapsa first thing I wrote on my list. And then I started adding all the other stuff and I started shuffling things around. And I was like, I love the Kapsa, but it didn't make the top five. Wow. So yeah, unfortunate. Okay. Now, now I'm curious what your top is. I mean, it's so easy. What is it? How do you not know this? <laughs> I don't know. It made your list. Made my list. Wait, wait, wait. Give me a second. Let me figure out. Oh, the grilled whole chicken? Um, that was very close. Oh, so very is it close. the... That was on my short list. Is it Childer? No. So it's the falafel? Yes! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously. I don't know why. For a second, I thought your falafel was your number three or something like that. No. Okay. Tamiya, Tamiya yeah. wins. Yeah, yeah. Everything. And it was such a pleasant surprise yeah. because I racked my brains for almost a year to get that recipe and I did it the first time and it worked like a charm yeah. and it tastes just like the street falaf like the, the the ones that you'd buy from the streets in Egypt and oh it's so good <laughs> yeah that makes sense that makes a lot of sense cool that wraps up our top five and we've got some um shortlist candidates here I've got four of them um how many do you have um I had uh, I think either three or four mm. And yeah, Kapsa was one of them for sure. Yeah, Kapsa is right at the top of my shortlist. Um, I also have the Turkish chicken kebabs. Those turned out so nice. Um, it was between them and the Iranian ones. And I, I really like the Iranian ones, but the Turkish ones just have that something that you could make that makes you want to eat them every day. And yeah, those, those were also on my list. Um, I've also got the mango baklava. This video didn't get many views. Ooh. Yeah, see? Yeah, I, was, I forgot about that one. See, I was that thinking, was good. That, that was, really was good. fantastic because you could easily make that with any other fruit. And I was thinking, you know, strawberries or even if you did like um, uh, chestnuts, like oh, mango yeah, yeah, say yeah. would be perfect with it. Oh, um, we've got chestnuts in the fridge. I know, we have chestnuts. We can make a baklava with chestnuts. It would be very nice. And then um, last on my shortlist was the beef shawarma. And, and this is something that it's not the first time we make this because we've been making this 
for years, right? But it's just so satisfying to eat. It is just so good. You know, just whip it up in a pot and then eat, serve it in some buns. And yeah, just fantastic. Love it. Um, what were the other dishes on your short list? Um, my short list, I had kapsa. Mm -hmm. Kapsa was very good. Um, Harra Osbal. Oh yeah, that was good. That was tangy. It was, that was really tangy. It was really good. The only... The only reason why it didn't make it up into my top five is because it served room temperature to cold and I like hot food. Hot food. Yeah, same. I prefer hot food. Um, and another thing is the lamb technique that we learned mm. this year. That's not a dish though, that's a technique, but yeah. But yeah, yeah. I mean, the lamb legs that we've done using that technique turned, well, lamb shoulders, um, they turned out so good. Yeah. If you haven't seen the technique, you basically take parchment paper and if you try to fold it normally, it folds like regular paper, it forms a crease and so it's not tight, it's not airtight, but what you do is you wet balls of parchment paper and then it's like cloth and you can just wrap it around the meat and that traps in all the vapour and it produces some amazing, amazing meat and it's so good. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah. And of course the chicken. Oh, of course. The, the, the msahab? The msahab. Yeah. I thought that was going to make your top five. It, it almost did. Because you've been did. asking for that and you ask for it quite often. <laughs> but yeah, those boneless chickens are just something else. Yeah, they are. They're really, really good. And it just reminds me of that um, restaurant we used to go to in Egypt, Andrea. Mm, yeah. And oh, it's so good. Mm, I love boneless chickens. Oh, now I want to make some. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it. All right, I think that wraps it up. It was just a short and sweet video just going over our top things that we loved this year. Hope you all liked it and we hope you all enjoy the recipes that we do in 2022. Uh, um, if you want to support the channel, oh. we just launched the Kofi page, which is a page where you can just give us a tip and uh, say thanks for the food or the recipes. I hope you're going to like the recipes coming up. We're going to have some interesting things going on, trying to launch a couple of series, trying to do some more pantry videos because it's been a very long time since we've done those. And then, um, yeah, maybe we'll be able to travel and do some traveling videos as well, which would be cool. And yeah, hope you all enjoy it and hope you all had a great holiday. Yep. And let us know what were your favorite dishes this year as well. And um, and also what you'd like to see in the next year. Um, and that's about it. Right? That's about it, really. And if you want to see anything specific, please let us know. And um, thank you for all your support throughout 2021. And um, see you in 2022. Yeah, see you all. <laughs> thank you very much for watching. Happy holidays. Cheers. <laughs>